With Airtable views, you can create different ways of looking at the same information customized for each person on your team or step in your workflow. To customize any view, navigate to the view bar where you'll find the options to customize. Let's run through them one by one. You can use the hide fields option to hide fields so you only see what's important to you. Similarly, the filter option lets you see only records you need, use it to show records with a certain tag or that meet a numerical threshold. Note that hiding fields or filtering out records does not delete them. They're simply hidden from this view. Next, we can group records that have the same characteristics together, say projects with the same status. Use the sort option to see the most important records at the top, use it to see rapidly upcoming deadlines first, or sort by budget. Use color to visually differentiate records. Use it to color records by their status or highlight records with large budgets. A few things to keep in mind as you customize views. View configurations can, and frankly should, be used together. Combine a filter, group, and sort to truly create a view that has the information you need shown in a way that speaks to you. Customizations only apply to the view you're working in. Sorts, groupings, colors, filters, or anything else you configure in one view have no effect on other views. Changes to records, however, meaning changes to your information, are reflected across views. Make an update to a record in any view and that change will be reflected in all views. Customization options can differ slightly by view type. We've covered the most common options in this video, so you can feel confident configuring views, no matter which ones you're working with. Go ahead and give it a try yourself by configuring the views you've created for your workflow. Now that you understand how to configure views, you'll probably create quite a few. In the next video, we cover how to manage views for your team so everyone is on the same page.